We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today we're starting off our coverage of Tears of Avia. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. It is by Cuckoo Squeaky Games and P-Cube Limited, and it released on October 15th, 2020. I've been excited to actually cover this. Been clearing out my schedule. Finally here, it is going to be one of our 12 days of Bump Miss, the last 12 days of the year, or the, the days of Bump Miss, the 12 days of Bump Miss, as it were. And each and every single day, we're going to be starting up something new, whether it's a full series, a first look, an indie spotlight, Steam early access stuff, whatever it is, something new is coming to the channel for you guys to enjoy. And Tears of Avia is our day eight offering. So, on the eighth day of bumpness, McSquiggums brings to thee Tears of Avia. Let's get into it, shall we? Alright, I've not played this yet. I've been wanting to, as I've uh, stated, and now's the time. And I believe right now, during the Steam Winter Sale, it's 20% off. So if you guys like what you see and you want to grab it yourselves, you can save a little bit of money doing so. Reina the Ranger. Reina's grounded, the Reina's grounded approach to the world serves her well as an adaptable ranger. Skeptical and a keen problem solver. She prides herself on always finding out the truth at any cost. We have Raul. The brawler, brash, loud, and quick to laugh, brawler Raul always favors fists over wits. With his quest for excitement and his love of drink, he tends to stand out from the crowd for all the right and wrong reasons. Iris, the mage, as a self-assured master of magic, Iris is the quintessential mage, brimming with a confidence to match her ego. With a desire to get ahead as quickly as possible, her ambitions for arcane power know no limit. Alright, what do we got here? We have Kai the Warrior. Kai possesses a strong heart and an iron resolve when it comes to his convictions. As a warrior, he determined, he's determined to prove that honor can survive in even this gray world. If only he'd been given the chance. And finally, Momoko. Selfless and caring, Momoko's only true wish is to be useful as a priestess of Astera. While others may perceive it as naivety, or naivety, or naivete, uh, Momoko is determined to find good in everyone, no matter who they are. Well, that's a motley crew of uh, peeps, isn't it? Well, I'm not real sure who I'd want to go with. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close my eyes and go la la Somebody not on the right. Okay, second one in there. So it's Kai. We're going to go with Kai. All right, as a warrior, our adventure begins. Standard difficulty. Choose this difficulty if you are new to Tears of Avia. I am unfamiliar with turn-based strategy games eh, or want a more casual experience. Or hardcore. Choose this difficulty if you are a seasoned player. I mean, I don't really salt myself, but I've been known to be salty. Eh? Eh? No? Okay. Enemies are stronger and make less mistakes. Defeated heroes are permanently removed from the party. If key heroes are defeated, then the game is over. What? It sounds like my kind of thing. Let's do hardcore, guys. Whoa. Who could have predicted that the Seeker of the Scion, as foretold in the prophecy of the Learner, would it be Kai? Ilner, I guess. With the aspirations of knighthood, Kai's days are spent training with the Night Corps and Tyrig. Some say that swordplay is the most honorable form of battle. But that lesson was not one embraced by his fellows. Nevertheless, he strives to protect those in need. Hoping that one day he too can become one of the legendary defenders of the realm. But war approaches, recalling hundreds of soldiers from nearby villages to the capital, Tyrig. Realizing that those villages would be left defenseless, Kai traveled out to Tol Toldrid, a small village on the outskirts of Tyrig. On the seventh moon of the Crimson Leaf, Kai arrives to find an empty town. Stopping briefly by an old water mill, Kai takes a moment to rest, but the sound of fighting draws his ear. Nearby, a lone figure holds in the small town, surrounded by ghouls risen from the earth itself. With desperation, he strikes down all that approach, but his strength is weakening. 
As he falters, will the seeker answer the call? Okay, I can zoom out. Can I steal these things? No? Hello. Are you injured? I, I think I'm alright. He has a small sword in his hand and it shows he's got a clockwork hammer on his... You know what? It's fine. I've never seen undead so brazenly attack a village. What is happening? Look, I'm not sure. They were just suddenly there and it was everything I could do to keep them from hurting anyone else. Are you sure you're okay? Where is everybody else? Why did they attack? What do we do now? Are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. They were just, just, there was a lot of them, man. And yet you stood your ground. Well, I mean, I had to. I couldn't just let them hurt everyone. Uh, where is everybody else? Hiding inside, I hope. It's not safe out here. Where are the guards? I swear I saw them not two hours ago. What? Bill, Billin and Lauren? Those cowards are probably halfway to Hel Helmgar by now. What? But they have a village to protect. Looks like it's just you and me now. Look, man, I never said I was going to help. I'm just saying. Why did they attack? Do you know what the ghoul's aim is? No idea. Maybe it has something to do with the crypts beneath the chapel? But they've always been there, and nothing like this has ever happened before. Still, that is our only lead so far. Well, what do we do now? Where do we go now? Uh, let's try and find the villagers. They may still be in danger. But first, it appears we have more foes to defeat. More ghouls. Don't worry, we can beat them together. Alright. We can move to any green tile, I guess. This is interesting. Alright, I guess I'm going to move here. We're going to go after the 15. I don't know how, how hard I hit. Choose a skill with a Y. Okay. Makes sense. I could use the keyboard and mouse. I'm using a controller, as I'm sure you've noticed. And then we end the turn with X. Makes sense. Is it Afrin's turn? Nope, we're gonna get zombie slapped here in a minute. Ow. Oh, I bet I could have moved. They missed. I bet I could have moved both of our people. And I didn't. Okay. Well, see? This is why we do stuff. We gots to learn somehow, you know? Get handled! Hey. Ugh. Simple so far. Oh, you can select characters with RB and LB. Okay. Or R1 and L1. Still a significantly better uh, choice for button conventions. Right Thanks. bumper, right trigger. L1, R1. Come on. It's so much easier. Yeah! Victory music! Ooh, we got a coarse bow, a coarse bow, and a rusty iron bow. None of us use bows, though. So, you know. Ooh, we gained a whole level? And we have an ability that we can learn. Might, tactics, or arms. Axe mastery passive. Damage increased for all party members. All party members using axes. A stun breaker. Remove up to one of the following. Empower. Target unit deals additional 50. Okay. Reflect damage. Charge. Move further by one tile for two turns. Can't be crippled or frozen. You take half. Well, you can, but you ignore it. You take half damage for two turns. Uh, deal set. Whoa. Push your target back. Vicious Strike. Deal that much to all units adjacent to your target. For 50% of the... Okay. And Warrior's Might. That's interesting. Um, whew, uh, I guess I'm going to go with... I mean... Ugh. Let's go with this one. The cooldown turn is much better. Oh, and, we, and he's got the same exact stuff, huh? Okay, well, I mean, I guess that's fine. Again, I feel like both of us are using swords, but, you know, that's, that's okay. I guess we'll use you as a defensive warrior. 
Together we have triumphed. I'm sure there will be more, but let's hurry and make sure everyone is still okay. I'll head to the far side of town and see if I can find anyone to help put out these fires. Uh, you look around here. You can count on me. We can be back here later. Let's go. All right. He is run off. Okay. Search for survivors in the chapel. I can travel. Town hall is unavailable. Is this the chapel? This is a bookstore library. Tavern. Do we know what the chat is? This the chapel? Yeah, there's a chapel. I found the chapel, guys. Oh, oh, she doesn't look so good. Hey, girl. By the gods, are you injured? Thank Liathi, you're alive. Tell me, how may I assist you? Fear not, my child. I've I've already healed myself, and by Liathi's grace, may yet still live. But there is no time to worry for me. The dead still rise in the crypts. I've blocked their way for now, but they grow stronger. What must I do, your holiness? Take this portal stone. It will get you it will get you to the crypts. As you say, oh, they, they screwed up. They didn't swap it over to her voice. Strange. As you say, Your Holiness, I will go and turn the tide of this undead, the tide, this tide of undead from the village until I breathe my last. Okay. No, find the source. It's the only way to stop them. Something is fueling their rise. I will do as you say. But is there nothing I can do for you? Will you be safe while I am gone? Do not worry for me, brave knight. Though. I'll try, young one, but before you go, make an offering to the gods, so that they may give you strength. Find and use the town teleporter. Oh, look at these guys. What's up? The goddess of nature, goddess of life, goddess of shadows, god of war. Increase damage, done. Bye. Alright. Town teleporter. Some teleportation action. Good times. Time to travel to the Toldred Crypts, I guess. And to ooh. Okay. Uh, beneath the chapel toward it of Toldred lies a crypt, the final resting place for many an adventurer. It would seem something has awoken them. Deal more than nine thousand damage with a single attack. You know that's not going to happen, right? Okay, uh, clear the level in one turn. And clear the level after deploying five characters. You know, I'm not going to get any of those. Huh. Oh my god, the thing has 300 hit points? He's like my equal. I guess we end the turn and he's just gonna walk up and punch us in the face. Oh, we're, we're literally limited to one movement turn. Okay. So he's gonna step there. Alright, this should work. That is not what I meant to do, by the way. I had the wrong button combination. All right, uh, we're st we're still not gonna be able to reach. It's fine. All right, onward. I guess I'm gonna hit you with some knowledge. Enjoy. Boop. Did did you feel that? Okay, he did. He did feel it. Okay, that's good. Here we go. Pop. Ugh. Did he miss? So I feel like he missed. Alright. Let's go ahead and do this. Big old chunk of damage. I'll hit you with this again. 
and I suppose I'll probably finish him with my fiery sword attack here, my warrior strike in the next one. Uh oh. Oh no, he did one damage. It's all over. It's no longer a flawless victory. What have we done? What hath we done? All right, you enjoyed the triple strike there. And then, if you would be so kind as to smack you with this. Goodbye. We have defeated the single zombie. The slow moving single zombie. We got a superior rusty iron chalice. Some pipe work focus. Okay, and some money and turns taken. Yeah. Okay. We definitely didn't do 9,000 damage in one hit. But we did hit level 2. So. I suppose I'll take it. I kind of want to get Axe Mastery, but, like, eh. Maybe charge? I don't know. Sure. Just in case. Optional. Check your inventory for new equipment. Uh-huh. Oh, wait. Like, one of us can actually use the... Oh, I didn't realize that. That changes some things. Rusty Iron Chalice. I don't have any ID scrolls. Okay. Heal adjacent units for 74 life for the next two turns. It'll receive 10% more health when healed. Is that like a weapon? It doesn't look like I can put it elsewhere. Alright, well... Like, the bows just seem to do more damage. Attack 28, hit 27. I mean, I guess having a bow's but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, what do we do now? We talk to our, our friend. Sorry, there's not many left. There might be more down there. Gather your supplies and prepare to go back down. I think we can get to a lower level now. Understood. I guess we'll do that. We'll probably break off the first episode after the next little battle there. We took one point of damage, but we're rolling with our bows now, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, the crypts too. Okay, I can get behind that. North of the city of Tirig lies the village of Toldrid. Having sustained attacks from the wild monsters that roam the outlying wilderness, the villagers stand resolute. Among them are adventurers and hunters who use the village as a staging area for their excursions. But, with war approaching, few are left to defend the village. Huh? Did, wait, didn't... We just do this? I thought oh, okay. Apparently I'm 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 crazy. Uh digging deeper into the crypts under Toldrid are adventurers seek the source of disturbances. Yeah, I don't see that happening. Defeat the lich before the zombies. Apparently there's at least one zombie and one lich. Or multiples. We could probably defeat the lich before the zombies. I see that being a possibility. I'm going to roll out. I wonder if that... Take that! Yeah! I have no idea how well that's going to go over. Alright, we're going to deploy Afrin. We're going to put him right into the mix. He's like, you know what? We got this. I'm not even worried about it. This ain't even my whole night. We do lose the ability to use, like, Warrior Strike, or at least it seems that way. Well, we'll find out. Let's see if they're gonna hit harder now or not. Moved away. They only hit for one. So, as it stands right now, I guess they're kinda teaching us how to play. 
Like, uh, baby steps, so to speak. Oh. Okay, I took 50 damage off of... I'm not real sure what, but I took 50 damage by Gally. So what happens if I try this? Okay. Wait, did I actually... Oh, I ended my turn. Oh, no. That's my, my bad. I apologize, folks. Pl been playing too many different games lately, and it's uh, starting to affect me. It looks like we're going to take 50, 40, 50 damage each turn until we we get this right. I'm going to move behind you. I'm going to hit you with this, potentially. I feel like I do more damage with just the bow itself. Alright, we're gonna move here. And we're gonna attack you. Nope. Good. I'm glad that I can change my movement. I wasn't positive if I'd be allowed to do that, and I can, and that makes me happy. Alright, either way, we're gonna be able to do this. I don't foresee us losing this. I mean, it's possible. We may lose this, but I don't see it happening. Unless the Lich or the Zombies do some sort of amazing super attack that they haven't done yet. A one. A one. And a little fire attack, 32. And that should be the last of our AoE damage getting done to us, I'm assuming. Gonna move here. Gotta switch over to this. I'm gonna take down the old Lich. Goodbye! Poof. Down he goes. And we're gonna do some pretty good damage here. Like 120. 127. There we go. A little bit of four baby damage coming out. We're going to hit for two, I guess. Maybe one. So total five damage on them so far. I like how they're kind of, you know, spoon feeding us a little bit here. Letting us get into it. Letting me make my mistakes. Getting used to stuff. I can appreciate that. Let's try that again. Foomp. Day Dead. Alright, I, for whatever reason, feel like I should just hit this fool in his face. Even though I still do more damage the other way. It looks cool to pull out, like, an ethereal blue glowing sword for no reason. It's like, I got the ethereal blue glowing sword. What do you have? I'm gonna smack you. Eh. Oh, we're still taking the damage over time. Okay, apparently this whole map just hates you and wants you to be on fire and burning and stuff. I, I guess I can get behind that. All right, and foomp, down you go. Victory is ours. <sighs> that went better than expected, did it though? Hey, wait a second, what is that? So this is what got them so agitated. Seems like it, what do we do with it? Hmm, I'm hesitant to suggest this, but should we break it? That sounds risky to me. What if it blows up or something? That was my fear as well, but we certainly can't just leave it for the ghouls. Or, or the ghouls will continue. All right. I think I know someone who might be able to help us with it. Maybe we could take it to him? Well, that sounds like a good course of action. Does it? Okay, let's take it and get out of here before the any more of the ghouly ghouls show up. The ghouly boys. Stage cleared. Okay. Simple enough. Well, we got one of the stars there, which I guess is about the best we could hope for. All right, we hit level three. Man, we're just leveling up like a crazy person. Oh, our skill kind of went up there, didn't it? All right, I'm going to go with Vicious Strike. And then on your side of life, buddy, um, I don't think Reflect Damage is really the one that I'm looking for. I wonder how long before we get one of those. Hmm. Savage Strike, maybe? 
try to diversify slightly with the different skills that you guys have? I don't know. Seems crazy. Told Rid. Three weeks later. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm going to break off the episode right here. I hope you guys had some fun with this. It's, um, it's a slightly different and interesting take on the whole tactical turn-based strategy side of things. We, we definitely get a squad. We get thrown into like these little maps with the ability to move around turn-based, you know, this unit, that unit. Uh, it starts us off way overpowered compared to the enemy, which is sometimes bad, sometimes good. In this case, I like having a little bit of leeway to kind of figure out how we're doing stuff, how it all works. Seems to work fine. I'm very curious to see how the game uh, progresses as we go. The story seems somewhat basic thus far, but again, we're just getting started. Nothing crazy really has happened just yet. All right, folks, the game once again is called The Tears of Avia. And yeah, it released on October 15th, 2020. A little behind, but we're here. And if you guys want to grab it for 20% off, get it before January 5th, I want to say, 2021. That is when it's 20% off during the Steam Winter Sale. All that being said, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, or any of that stuff, down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links and things of that nature for you. With all that information, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe to the channel, feed the algorithm, and until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show, and always remember, we play, we fight, we conquer.